Uh, my name is Hugo Romo. I've actually, I started around 2001, and um, you know, it was kind of like by accident. I just took classes as a, like a form of therapy, you know what I mean? Um, I was kind of inspired, uh, if you know the comic artist James O'Barr, he did The Crow. I was inspired by him, you know, I had, I was into like the kind of dark gothic, you know, kind of, uh, you know, the, the dark atmosphere, you know. When I was growing up, I had a lot of problems with depression. The first artist that I met in real life that inspired me was Hector Silva. And if you know Hector, he's a, a gay artist, but he's, his artwork transcends that. You know, he, he can connect to straight, he can connect to kids, he can connect to everybody. And so, and in that way, I think I kind of try to shape myself like him, you know what I mean? I try not to put myself in any niche. Art is for everyone, not just your neighborhood, but for everyone, you know, it's to share, you know? And so that's my mentality, you know? If I just do, you know, Mexican stars, you know, then I'm just gonna stay in that community. But if I expand and I do American, Chinese, black, white, doesn't matter, purple, gold, whatever, you know? I, I try to connect to everybody, to humanity. I've only actually started showing my artwork for the last two years. Kind of got into art by accident. It was never really my wish to become an artist. It just happened. I was going to Cal State LA. I was a history major and I had a girlfriend at the time and she got into drugs and um, I kind of blamed myself for it, you know? And I started doing drugs myself. I started hurting myself, you know? And I fell into a really deep depression, you know? I became agoraphobic, which means I wouldn't leave my house, you know? Yeah. And during that period, you know, I, I kind of like turned to my art to kind of like heal myself, you know? And uh, I just started doing a lot of portraits and I just kept working at it, man. And, and slowly I started getting better and better and my confidence started building. And then um, around maybe 2007, 2008, I started doing some murals with Miklan murals, Raul Gonzalez. I'm very thankful to him because he exposed me a lot. Uh, into what is the art world, you know? Because there's different aspects, you know? There's murals, there's portraiture, there's graffiti, there's different stuff, you know? So what really got me started was that my dad uh, got cancer. And so I think I started learning to uh, like live for the moment, you know? And I, I said, you know what? I'm either gonna make it or not. I got connected with Echoes through one of my friends, Jesse Inojosa, who's also an artist. He, uh, he exposed me to a lot of different art scenes. Um, one being the LGBT community. Uh, I'm very honest about my past. I used to be very racist. I used to be a homophobe, you know? And I think life and God has a way of teaching you who your real friends are. And I'm very thankful for my friend Jesse. You know, he, um, he came into my life at the right time and he showed me a lot about what it is to love and what it is to be a friend, a true friend, you know? And so uh, Jesse was the first person to kind of encouraged me to start showing my artwork, you know, so I'm going to be forever thankful for him, you know, I, I don't know where I would be without him, to tell you the truth.